all right guys welcome back to the channel once again in today's video we're going to be talking about the react x arrow this is the kind of library like the react flow so react flow we were using so different different kind of features and all and we were implementing everything over there but into this video we're going to be implementing the similar kind of feature of react flow customizable into this library so this library gives you the functionality to connect to one node to another node by using that string which we call edge into the react flow but over here you need that string to connect the node between and the node you're going to creating that kind of be customizable and your own nodes that you have to create and then you can just put it over there so this is a kind of very flexible library that you can use and make the customizable your own flow you don't have to be dependent on the library which kind of react flow provides that it has some kind of dependency and the limitations that you cannot go through with that so that's kind of features which we can't build like uh, implement over there those features we're going to be implementing over here and we can drag and drop on nodes and everything we can do this over here okay so all those things we're going to be looking into that so just keep following this playlist because this is going to be different playlists apart from the react flow and this i will guide you everything step by step how you can create and similar kind of flows like using the react flow in the react x arrow okay so let's get started let's look into this so in this if you see this library i am already sharing the documentation so okay so this is the command to install the react uh, install this react x arrow into your react repository it gives you this kind of functionality like you can just drag and drop the nodes so here i cannot do it because uh, it's just a maze like the gift image so that's why so you can see the visualization over here so how it's drag and droppable and then whenever you move the node the edge is gonna be persistent over there respective to the node and also you can just change the size and everything of the head and the tail of this uh, edge as well okay so those kind of things you can do over here and this is a simple code which you can just copy paste and it will be implemented over there okay so we're gonna be using this library just for this edges and rest of the thing we have to write it own job like complete vanilla javascript and then we're going to be implementing this okay into the react so let's get started let's look into this so i have already installed this library but otherwise if you're not able to install so just copy this command on go into this uh, terminal and then after that if you're not able to install it directly because if you hit enter so uh, like into the newer version of react you would be having this kind of errors and something like the modular dependency which is not compatible with this so what you have to do just uh, use this and the legacy there is another extension that you have to pass the adapts so this extension like flag you have to pass over here and after that you can just able to install it okay so that's what you have to do and this is the component i have already created and i want to talk about this repository as well meanwhile it's getting installed so this repository i have customized a little bit and also i have created the home page where you will find all the links of all the components which you even which you were not able to find earlier but in this uh, uh, code base now you will be i've already pushed this code to github as well so it's kind of usable now okay so you guys can just click on the links and then you can just directly go over there into that component okay and if you're not able to install this library or run it into your local so what you can do is you can create new cra app and after that you can just copy paste the code and install the relevant dependency and then you can use it okay so that's how so the library is installed okay let's go back to that uh, same uh, component okay over here and now we're gonna be just following this code base we don't have to do anything from our side okay right now we just gonna be start with the basic okay so let's just copy this two lines first two lines over here and import it and we need to make sure as well we do, do not get any errors okay if we get the errors so we will have to figure it out and solve those problems okay so that's what so just copy one by one because i'm just showing you for the demo purpose in this video so how the library works and everything you can do that and will it i will do a little bit customization into this one but in the next video we're gonna be doing the hell lot of customizations so you will feel similar kind of behavior of the react flow over here as well okay so all those things we're gonna be doing to the next video but in this video we're just gonna be start with the basic so let's just do that okay so just we need to copy this code from here to here okay so i'll walk you through with that as well let me just uh write the little code over here okay so this should be running up and running over here so if i go over here go back and just control r click on this so you see this is my simple implementation is coming now so which is static you cannot move the 
nodes because it's not draggable right now. But uh, for the draggable thing, we need to install another library which called React Draggable. Okay, so that is also installed uh, because I already installed it long time back when I was creating the first uh, implementation of this one. But now you can install it again. So you just need to you do npm install React Draggable and it can be installed easily. Okay, so it's already installed. So I just need to copy this code. Okay, so so mostly we we don't need to use this first one because if we are working on the production level code or something so we always need to go through with this one okay so this is kind of you need to use the xr app or use xr or and all those things then you it will make you it will give you some kind of uh, flexible environment to customize the node and all those things okay so that's kind of behavior and then that's kind of uh, implementation you need to do over here okay so return okay so let me just copy paste the code first okay so let's be able to talk okay so i have just pasted the code now let's see it's up and running or not okay so if we go over here back so there is a, some problem with the router thing so i need to fix that but i think this is trackable okay so you see i can drag it as long as i want and everything i can do that so it's it works fine it looks fine okay so this code base is working fine now what we have to do we have to make it implemented on our way okay so first of all let me tell you how it works okay so this is the id you have provided so make sure whatever the box or whatever the nodes you are creating those should have id without id it doesn't gonna work because the this is the selector which gonna be fine by this library and then it will connect the node between start to and like the parent to child okay so start gonna be your parent and end gonna be your child so whatever the end node so it did, i will call it a child but you can call it as whatever you want to so two nodes gonna be connected with one x one x arrow element like the one the string but if you want to connect multiple like one you connect it like the start to end but you can connect end to start as well so you just need to uh, switch the positions of the id okay so what it does it just find the element like which id you have passed into the start one so it will find that the start one and it will just do document dot get element by id like in the javascript and because i have i have seen the code of this library as well so it just find that uh, box element which element you are referring to on the start and then after that it will just connect the node start the node from there and start creating one svg like svg element from there and after that wherever you have put the end so it will just put it over there and if you have a shine like some kind of header or some styles over there so it will also take it so i suppose uh you just you see this one show head so i will just keep show head so it will come the head will also represent over there so you can just change the color and everything of this as well okay if i make the show head false so it should get false okay okay so this is kind of a lot of pain because every time i have to go back so you see that and has been removed from here so this is how it is working so this is a simple thing but uh, it's not going to be working for us because we cannot use this it's not like uh, some kind of feature we can implement so what we have to do we need to work with a data structure so there's some kind of data structure will come multiple nodes multiple edges will come so what we have to do we just need to connect those nodes and edges with each other and create similar kind of uh, some kind of flow okay so what we will do which uh, i'll just create one another uh file uh then i suppose data dot js okay inside this i'll just get export const uh data equals to okay so something kind of this id id is equal to element one element one okay and uh, name i'm just uh, so i'm just gonna keep the name over here like element element one okay okay like this and just do the copy paste of this and then you can just get what you can oh, sorry okay so i just copied extra line so what we we don't have to do that okay so i just created this so just make it element two in an in increasing order okay so three two four four okay so this is our data is ready okay now what we have to do just go back over here and get the data so just uh, data dot map okay i will just map it item okay so just pass this one of the trackable boxes over there okay and just put the item dot id item dot id and the name equals to item dot name okay like this okay so i'm just gonna put the name also over here so name and just put the name over here equals that 
a name like this. Okay, that's it. Okay, so this is uh, we have to remove. We don't need to use this. Okay, so same kind of some implementation we have to do over here. Like uh, what we can do, we can do another map. Okay, so but there would be another object, but uh, we just have to do another map over here. Okay, and inside that map item. Okay, and after that we just need to run X arrow. Okay, so X arrow. And after that, we just need to do I as well. We need to check the I. Okay. So uh, I have to put item dot ID. And this one going to be always like data I plus one dot ID. Okay. So this is what we can do. So it's going to connect multiple. But what we have to do, we have to put the check over here as well if there is data i plus a uh, data i plus one does not exist then it should not create one so we have to put the check over here as well and and okay so this is gonna work so let's see it's working or not or it's creating something or not so let's go back reload come back so you see my all those four nodes are connected and the edges are also connected to each other there is no any extra edge. and if i try to drag it it's draggable so it looks like we are having some kind of react flow structure over here so this is a simple data structure right now but it's working so this is the simple logic i have written over here right now so but we have to do very little more like not little more much more things over here so we're going to be doing that so let's make it true okay so it should show something let's go back so this is i'm going to be fixing it and i'll get it fixed by next video but now you can see guys this is working so i hope you guys like this video and that's it from this video as well because i don't want to like overwhelm you guys so that's why it's fine so this is the kind of basic thing i just wanted to show you guys but in the next video we're going to be implementing some things so like that like let's suppose you're going to having one node by default you don't have to show the edges over here but when you start dragging it from here and dropping it over here so you will see the edge is coming towards over here like it walks into the reactor when you try to dra start dragging from one end to stop it at another end so it's going to be connecting the node so that's kind of some some kind of uh, scenario we're going to be creating over here and we will be implementing over here into the next video so just keep watching uh, and i'll see you in the next video bye bye